Well, as you can see, all the parts are off of the old pit guard. Um, yeah, it was pretty routine. I didn't have to do anything in particular, nothing significant that I would want to video. So, we're ready to set this up to be a template for the new one. Now, off camera, I did discover that these are slightly, just ever so slightly different shapes. It might show up better if I do it this way. But as you can see, we've got a little bit different shape over here. Uh, we have quite a bit of extra over here, and this point is different. So, that's going to make it interesting. However, the good news is, this corner hole and this corner hole match up. Now, one question has been how to hold these together so it makes a good template and won't slip. I've tried double-sided tape before. Uh, it doesn't work very well. I have some glue, but the only glue I have is E6000, which is supposed to be strong enough to hold my house together. And eventually I do want to get these apart. So, since those holes match up, I found some teeny tiny bolts. Let me see if I can zoom in on it here. I got these itty bitty fellers. And I got some teeny tiny locking nuts. So, I'm just going to bolt these together using these corner holes. Just like that. And I really don't even have to snug it down too tight. Because when I put this one in, it's, the two of them are going to hold everything absolutely still. And there we are. Now, I'm not going to worry about most of the shape differences because I can cut these pockets and stuff for the neck and whatnot and the bridge to fit later on if I need to. For now, what I need to do is match up the pickup holes, the, con the control holes, and the screw holes. So, looking at this, and then I also have to cut this slot here, which is going to be an adventure in itself. So, I pretty well decided that I'm going to drill all the holes first, and then worry about the router work. So, let's go do some drilling. Well, I guess it's time to take the plunge. I've got the right size bit lined up with my hole here. So, here, here goes. After we plug it in. Seems like we do that every time, isn't it? complex stuff set up and you forget the absolute basics. Alright, well, you know what? As we say here, why do it right when you can do it again? I have to say that was interesting.
And so is this. It doesn't want to punch through that stuff. Most interesting. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can finish it off. That's better. That looks remarkably like a hole. Okay. Do the next one. Here we go. And now it's decision time. Because, as I mentioned before, I'd kind of like to move this volume control over a little ways. So that means freehanding this one. I'm going to go ahead and do it. We will see how it turns out. However it turns out, since I only have one of these, I'll end up living with it. For better or for worse. So let's go just right there, right on the edge of that one. So we're only moving it over maybe a sixteenth of an inch or so, but it should be enough. Okay, maybe a quarter of an inch. And there are my three holes. Those are my control holes. All right. Now, while I have the big bit in, I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole in each of these in preparation for using the router on them because the router will have to punch through. May as well already have something there. So, since I'm here and since I have the machine running, let's do this. plastic protective covering is stuff is still on this so it might look a little funny in places until I take that stuff off but there's our three pickup positions now what I need to do is change to a smaller bit and go ahead and drill these screw holes okay we've got the bit changed I actually had to buy some more bits because they didn't have the right sizes, but you know what? That set right there, yeah, four bucks on Amazon. So, And since I'm just drilling plastic, I don't need the super high-end stuff. I just need something that will do the job. So, let's do the job. Turns out these holes are 764 Which is kind of a peculiar size, but uh, yeah. Another part of my life philosophy is don't ask too many questions. So. Finding these holes up isn't hard. And as you can see, they're coming out just fine on the other side. So, we shall continue.
that was a mistake. There's already a hole there. You gotta remember not to do that one up there too. So. And now the holes for the pickup screws. You know, doing this with this other one as a template, honestly, it's so easy, it almost feels like cheating. But in this case, I'm not going to complain about cheating. And that's that. Now we just need to take the router and cut these out. Cut that slot there, which, yeah, I have a plan for that. Um, I have a special router bit coming for that because I don't have one this size. So we'll play with that when we get to it. Right now, I do have the right bit for cutting these. So next time, we'll do that. Until then.